What is going on, my beautiful people? We are going to jump back in time about three weeks to start off this video, but hope you guys are liking this new setup. This is a little bit of a teaser. I'm in my new office, which is going to be my new setup, which I'm super excited about. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video, and I'm going to kick it off to me in the woods probably about a month ago um, when I filmed the intro to this. The first round of cards, actually something happened, they glitched, and I didn't have any footage. However, I went back yesterday and I pulled the same card, so we're going to pick up at the end of that video going back through this footage, and I'm hoping you guys are going to enjoy it. Oh, I just walked into a giant spider web, but anyways, what is going on, my beautiful people? Today, as you can tell, we just put out some swamp donkey as well as corn so make sure you guys are subscribing to see what's coming into that in about two weeks i am near the field and stream hang on deer stand that we put in as well as the kill plot that you can see is covered in leaves and a lot of the grass dry grass oats and all that has either been eaten or is dying because we're in a drought but that's fine as well i am at the mold tree trail cam that we've been having just seeing what's coming right in front of my stand you know 10 20 yards i'm 30 yards from that stand at most now and where we have all that mineral and stuff like that, as well as attracting it, it's about 30 yards from that stand. Perfect bow stand setup, and we've had lots of deer come through this area. I think I've sat in the stand five times and always seen deer, and I would be sitting there tonight, but I just didn't have time. But I actually found a scrape, and that's what the point of this video is. That's why you clicked on this video. It's because I'm going to move this trail camera to that scrape, and we're going to see what's coming to it. September 27th is today. I found that scrape on the 14th, which was opening day of deer season. And I was surprised as I'll get out to see that there was already a scrape because it's really early season um, was when that scrape was first there. And it's still there, still being used. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to move this truck camera and see what kind of bucks and does are actually using that scrape. And we'll be able to track these deer to see what's coming in throughout the pre-rut which is what we're getting into now the rut and even the post rut so i'm gonna go ahead and move this trail camera and i'm gonna see you guys at the scrape here is that scrape i was talking about as you can see the ground's kind of been moved out in this area right in front of my foot and um like right in front of my foot there right in this area it looks like it hasn't been hit maybe in a couple days because there are some leaves there but as you can see they're going to be biting on that branch right there as well as this branch and they've already bit some off of that branch but as deer season continues they're going to keep coming to this area i absolutely know it so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna get this mole tree trail camera hung up on probably that tree right there i'm gonna set it to video and we're gonna see what kind of video this will take a because i haven't done that yet and b hopefully we'll get some nice videos of some bucks coming and checking this scrape a beautiful thing about that aim function is see how that red light's coming on? I'm moving basically right here in front of this scrape just to make sure that if a deer's coming through that I'll be able to pick it up and get it on video. So that's kind of what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that, you know, for the most part, I mean, even if I'm moving my foot right there, that that's picking it up. So for the most part, I'm going to get anything that comes to this scrape. I might try to tilt it down just a little bit. Because, I mean, I can get way up here, and I know a deer's not going to be up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tilt it down just a little bit. And uh, we're going to come back in two weeks and check and see what's been coming to this scrape. And hopefully find some more on this road. Because always on this road, four scrapes minimum. Like, easy. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to fix this up. And I'm going to get out of here and hopefully not leave too much scent. Because I've been out here making some noise. I'm going to come back in the morning and hunt. So make sure you subscribe to see that. That won't be in this video. But uh, in two weeks, I will be back to check and see what's been coming to this scrape. All right, everybody, we're out in the woods going to check the trail camera that's been sitting on this scrape. And as you can see, it has been absolutely tore up. It's been about three weeks since I put that up, and I haven't had a chance to come check it. But we're going to do that today, and then we're going to head back to the house, and I'm going to show you guys hopefully some big bucks that have been hitting this scrape. So, yeah, I am back at my house now, and, uh, yep, yeah, that's the kind of the big spoiler. I got a house. There will be a video soon to come about that, but we're going to begin looking through these trail camera footage. Um, I looked through it, and let me just, guys, let me, let me just tell you, we, we got some pretty exciting stuff that this is why I like to put stuff on scrapes. That's why I like to do it, um, because it shows you what exactly is in your area that you may not expect to be in your area. Sometimes you'll see deer that you're used to, sometimes you'll see other deer. And so that's kind of 
my little bit of a hint to you guys. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull this up and I'm gonna show you guys what we got. So as you can see, I put it up uh, at the start of October. I wanna say it was before gun season. So I put it up about two weeks before this first photo. As you can see, I'm driving through on the Polaris. And that was the 28th, which is actually when I checked it the first time. Today's the 11th. And I know it had been out three weeks when I checked it then, so I put it out around October 1st. So I checked it the 28th, and I ended up not being able to pull anything off the card. Now, today's the 11th. I checked it on the 10th. And so you can see kind of what came in from October 28th through November 10th which I think is the prime rut for this area. So as you can see right off the bat, the 29th at 7.49 a.m., you can see that the scrape on the ground is pretty scraped up, and there is actually that 11-pointer that I thought was a shooter, and we had a lot of pictures of it from the front, and I really wanted to kill it. Um, then I got this picture right here where you can see from behind that it's not that wide. It's a pretty tall rack, not that wide at all, um, you can see that his, black, his left brow time does split. And you can see there's a little bit of belly sag. I bet you that deer's three years old. I'm hoping he makes it through the season. If I see him with a bow, I might still shoot him because I haven't killed a deer with a bow. But I'm probably going to let this deer walk. I end up with a lot of different pictures of squirrels. Here's a doe that came by and checked out that scrape and headed out. And then there's another picture of a buck on the 30th at 6.13 a.m. So as you can see, those deer just about every morning had been running that scrape line. And then my dad actually checked this trail camera for me on November 4th because he, I had talked to him and said, you know, when I pulled it, it didn't really work. So he rode by just to check and make sure that everything was taking pictures after I had set it up. And at that point it had 41 pictures and it ended up with 71 pictures. And my dad was there at 2.07. I want you to look at that timestamp, November 4th at 2.07 p.m. At 5.53, this buck shows up. And this buck we had not seen before. He's a little bit less mass than the 11 pointer that we've been getting. But as you can see, he's not a bad two year old deer. He's pretty young, his belly's not sagging very much. He's outside his ears and he's a good mainframe eight pointer. That deer I would probably let walk, um, probably the same situation as the 11 pointer. With my bow, I wouldn't want to let this deer walk, but with a gun, I would, I would let this deer walk just so we could get some bigger ones on our property. Then later on November 6th at 10.02 a.m., we got a picture of this deer right here. This deer I would shoot with a gun or a bow, I'm pretty sure. If you look at that G2, it's pretty long. Um, I don't think it's as big as this deer back here that I have hanging on the wall, but I would say he's pretty similar, and that right there is the only picture we have of that deer, I believe. I'm going to click through these really quick just to make sure I'm not mistaken. I got my mechanical keyboard set up, so if you're wondering what that clicking is, that's what that is. But this deer right here, I think it's pretty good. I think this one's actually a deer we haven't seen. He still looks pretty young because his belly's not fully in. He's different than that other eight-pointer, and I have not seen either of those eight-pointers in this part of the property. So I would be interested to see a little bit more of a better picture of that deer but you can see November 6th you know he's his neck's puffed out he's got his tail up he was probably chasing a doe or if not just running that scrape line just to see if any does have been in the area but that's why I like finding these scrape lines I think I counted eight scrapes on this road and I chose the biggest one to put my trail camera on but when you find these scrape lines it's really important that you put a trail camera up on any of those scrapes just to see what deer are coming in um, as you guys know, we had pictures of that 11-pointer from Velvet on through, but those other two 8-pointers we had not gotten pictures of. And just because it was rut, just because those deer are up on their feet, moving around and shooting light, um, you know, it, it's crazy what you can find. And I'm sure if I pulled my other trail camera down in the bottom of the hill, the Primo's trail camera, um, that road leads right to that camera. I'm betting I'll get both of these bucks on that trail camera. I haven't checked it yet. I'm waiting to do something special with that trail camera. Um, to put some stuff out in front of it um, and I just haven't had a good chance to go put stuff out there and I want to be able to hunt haven't been able to hunt because as you guys can see I've been in the process of moving and just lots of big things happening that's kind of what I've had going on I uh, haven't been able to film very much I'm actually filming this on Monday night at 9 47 p.m. and it should be up this Wednesday at 12 p.m. so I got some editing to do once I finish filming this to get this video up to keep producing content for you guys and I really do appreciate all the support. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're growing 
pretty quick. We're almost up to 300 subs, which is absolutely ridiculous to me. I would have never thought that my channel would have grown this quick. And I appreciate everybody that hit the subscribe button, whether I know you or not. I love every single one of you. Thanks for watching. And always remember, when nature calls, better answer. Peace.